So the first thing we did is we went to festival and got a beautiful, one of the bigger roasting chickens. And I washed it, got all the, the stuff that's in the inside out, and then you really want to pat it dry, and that's key. When it comes to you know grilling or roasting food, you don't want that, that extra moisture on the chicken because we want that chicken to really sear in the oven, lock in the juices, and get uh, a really great flavored brown skin. Now I'm going to make a, a rack for this chicken, and um, if you don't have one of those roasting racks, or even if you do, a great way to add some flavor to the chicken um, is just by cutting up some onions, slicing up some onions and creating a rack on the bottom of your pan that the chicken is going to sit on top of. This is going to give um, great flavor to the dish and you know like I say if you don't it also you know elevates the chicken brings it up a little bit so it's not directly sitting on the pan. All right so I just kind of lay my onions out just like this and get my chicken on top. And now I'm going to get to work on the rest of the recipe. This chicken is stuffed with a lemon and garlic and herbs and it just gives it so much flavor. We're also going to surround the chicken with roasted potatoes so you've got the whole meal right here. Maybe toss a salad and uh, you know serve it with some bread and dinner is done. And I love that when it's just all in one, one dish. The key thing when you're roasting a chicken is make sure that oven is really preheated, cranking hot. Uh, we do ours here at the studio 450. At home, I'd probably do around 425. So crank that oven, uh, let it preheat so that when you're putting that chicken in the oven, it's already nice and hot for you. Okay, so I've got some fresh lemons and some fresh garlic and some herbs. And I also, um, I just wanna uh, take some of the lemon and squeeze some of the juice right on top of the chicken. It's gonna give us some great flavor. Now I'm also going to take some of the lemon. Speaking of citrus, a great way to kind of get those odors out of your disposal. And if some seeds get in here, that's just fine. Don't worry about it. You know, you can pick them out. But if they're in there, this is just kind of going to go on top and give it some flavor. But this into the disposal actually gives, gets rid of all the um, odors in the disposal. It makes a little noise going down, but it's a great way to, you know, freshen up your disposal. Okay. Now I'm going to take some of this lemon and just chunk it up and get it into the cavity of the chicken. And I'm telling you, it's just going to give this chicken such great flavor. I'm also going to throw some fresh garlic in there, a few cloves of garlic right into the cavity. Again, great flavor. And wow, your house is absolutely going to smell amazing when this is cooking. So right into the cavity, I've got some chunks of lemon, some fresh garlic. And chop it up a little bit because those are ginormous cloves of garlic, Miss Ann. Okay. So just kind of get it all in there. If a little bit of it falls out, it's just not a big deal. It's a real rustic dish, so, you know, it's not real fancy. Okay, I'm going to generously drizzle olive oil over the chicken. That's going to give that skin, make it nice and brown. And then season it real well with kosher salt. And you want to season it pretty liberally. And some fresh cracked black pepper. I like to go heavy on the black pepper too. Okay, chicken's looking good. Now we're going to work on some potatoes. So I've got some baby red skin potatoes, and I just want to, you know, make sure that those are nice and clean. These seem like there's not a lot of dirt on them, but again, we want to dry them so that they'll actually roast in the oven along with the chicken. And by the way, if you have any good recipes with citrus, please let me know about them. Don't keep it a secret. We love getting your recipes. Just email us. And who knows, you may even be able to come on the show and cook with me sometime. All right. 
going to dry up some of these potatoes, which are beautiful, by the way. And I like to, just depending on the size, now if you get the real little guys, the, the real little babies, you can just roast them like that. But these are a little bit bigger than that, so I'm going to kind of quarter them a little. Get them into a bowl, and we're going to really jazz them up with some great flavor. This is a great Sunday dinner because you may even have some leftovers then, um, and then you can use the leftovers to make, you know, chicken soup or in a casserole, something like that. I am such a big believer in family dinners, and I know, sadly, I mean, that's really my mission is to try and get families back to the table again. I just am a firm believer in, you know, those family dinners, um, you know, people start talking and connecting and talking politics and you know, you get to find out what's going on with the kids in school and their teachers, and it's just a great way to bond, and studies have shown that families that eat together um, really do better. The kids do better in school. Uh, they're the ones not, you know, uh, getting into trouble, things like that. So, I, you know, Sunday dinner is one of those that's a really a tradition in my house. Uh, I know sometimes during the week it's tough to get everybody together. I get it. Sadly, I don't think, you know, I grew up with family dinner every night, and sadly, um, so many families don't eat together anymore. Uh, but if you can just try and connect and do family dinner a couple times a week, um, it, it just, wow, watch it. Watch the magic happen at the dinner table. It really will. And Sunday's a great night to start with um, because, you, you know, usually everybody's around and there's not many activities going on Sunday either. And then maybe Sunday night you can all look at each other, talk to each other, and say, what's another good night this week uh, that we could pencil it in? And, and just, you know, start getting into the habit of it and, wow, you will notice a huge difference in your family. I promise you, you really will. Uh, my kids grumble too, just like anybody else's kids. Really, we have to do family dinner tonight? And then all of a sudden, um, we'll be sitting at the table and, you know, kids will be laughing and, and talking and Bob and I look at each other from, we all sit in our designated seats and we look at each other and go, mm-hmm, this is really what it's all about. So this, this chicken is a great Sunday night dinner. Okay, but you know what? Pizza takeout can be a great dinner as long as it's, again, uh, getting the family together, sitting around the table and sharing. All right, so getting back to these potatoes, I'm going to drizzle them with some olive oil, season them with some salt and pepper, and then I've got some fresh herbs. And it's kind of, it just depends, you know, what you like. Um, but, you know, you can't go wrong with fresh parsley. And this is, when you're cooking with parsley, you always want to use the Italian. It's also called flat leaf parsley. You don't want to use the curly stuff. That was just, just doesn't have great flavor. And that was more uh, invented just to decorate the plate. And that's pretty much about all it's good for. Um, so Italian or flat leaf parsley. Picked up some fresh rosemary, which, oh, I love it. It's a strong herb, but it goes so well with chicken. And just, did you see how I did that? Basically, I just kind of looks like a little pa uh, pine tree, so uh, you just run your fingers down the stem and the leaves come right off. I've also got some fresh thyme, some oregano, and if you just have parsley, just parsley would work. But wow, does that smell good. In the summer, you know, you have more herbs around. Sometimes you do anyway, if you're growing them in your garden or in your kitchen. Um, but they sell these herbs all year round, just right in the produce department. Um, and they've got them at festival. And I always kind of look to see which herbs look, look better. Rosemary is one of those that usually is pretty good all year round. But fresh dill would be great. So quite a bit, you see, of fresh herbs we've got here. And I'm just going to give them a rough chop. Now, this chicken's going to take a good hour, hour and a half to bake. So make sure and allow time for it. But once you get it in there, you can go off and do your thing. Help have the kids help, you know, help them with their homework or clean the house, whatever. Once it's in, it's pretty much done. So I'm just going to give the, these herbs a rough chop. And I'm going to get some of them in with those potatoes. But I'm going to save some of them. All right, just 
want to toss those potatoes around with the oil just to make sure they're coated really well. More salt and pepper. And then I'm going to take the chicken, put these potatoes kind of around the chicken. So that, and you notice we've got a nice big roasting pan because we want these potatoes to actually have a little space so that they can, you know, I don't want to put them all on top of each other. I just want to kind of put them around um, so that they can roast and get a little bit of color, I guess, is what we want to do. Whenever you're roasting vegetables, you don't want to overcrowd them because then they'll just kind of hang out and um, cook low and slow and they won't get the color and the flavor that we want them to get. All right, so this goes into the oven, and if any other fresh herbs can just kind of go on top of that chicken, it's all going to be good. And again, we've got that oven cranking hot, a good 425, 450. It's going to take probably about an hour and a half. Uh, meat thermometer, you know, when you're, when you're cooking chicken, uh, real important to use an instant read meat thermometer. Uh, the temperature you're looking for in the thigh, about 165 uh, or in, in that area. Um, and the other thing is, is Remember, you want to allow that chicken to rest about 10 minutes or so um, uh, before you slice right into it, and that's going to just you know, keep all the juices right in there. So come back with me. Talk about a great statement to bring to the table. Really want to wow everybody and look like a rock star, and come on, we all want that, right? Wow is right, and you can see how perfect this looks. The skin on that chicken, absolutely gorgeous and brown. And the potatoes, look at the great color. And then you can take some of these herbs and just kind of garnish the chicken and the potatoes and maybe some fresh lemon slices too. So there you go. It's my roasted lemon herb chicken with potatoes. Absolutely delicious.